Hi everyone, and thank you so much for clicking the link to back the Africa AI project. Now, we've all been blown away by what's been going on with generative AI, open AI, chat GPT, and so forth. But one thing that we've realized in Africa is that some of this stuff is not written for us. There's no context. There's a lot of things that are missing and a lot of misinformation about our countries. So we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could build a tool that could access some of these great tools that everyone in the world is using and make it accessible for Africans? Make sure that we load it with tons of our own knowledge bases, our own literature, our own knowledge and our own uh, businesses, so that people in Africa could actually enjoy the same things that uh, the brothers and sisters across the world enjoy. Now, we're asking you to help us raise $50,000 so we can hire other devs from other countries so we can really scale up this project and get other great AI chat apps up and running like the Zivai app from Zil. We have five countries that we really want to target. We want to get to Tanzania, we want to get to Nigeria, we want to get to Rwanda, we want to get to Zambia. We're also thinking of doing South Africa, but we'll get to that. So we're asking for $50,000. Why? Because the computing power that's needed for these AI tools is vast. We're trying to trade some of our own open source elements so that we can have all our local languages loaded on so that people could speak to them contextually in the language that's familiar to them. Now the computing power is vast. The technology needed is extra. And we have a lot of devs that we need to now get on board from across the continent so we can scale this project up so that everybody in Africa can access some of these great tools. So in our tools, we've already included read PDFs and asking PDFs questions. We've already included image generation. We've already included ChatGPT and we've already loaded up a lot of other so we can start loading with our own contextual information like constitutions, handset from the parliament, bills, statutory instruments, etc so that a local Zimbabwean, South African, Rwandan can actually just type in and question some of their laws, some of their rules and regulations and get real context in simple day-to-day uh, -day language. I mean, you can even ask the AI to explain it to you like a five-year-old and it will do a really great job. By you backing us, you are helping us scale up our tech and our staff and get the human resources needed to get Africa AI project up and running so we can get this to as many people as possible. This space is moving really, really fast. And we believe we're at the cutting edge and no one has done the stuff with that. We've already integrated e-commerce so people can use the chat, order from their favorite vendors locally, and just pay straight there in the chat. We've already included PDFs. We've already included generative AI, like I said. We've already included a bunch of really great stuff so that we can get going straight away. So click the link below to become the backup, contribute to the project, and we promise that when we start to raise funds, you'll be one of the first to actually benefit from that. We're hoping that we can really raise a lot of funds to really scale this project up and get as many people enjoying AI as possible. So if you like what you see, please click the contribute buttons below and we'll be getting in touch with you on how we're gonna move forward. You will be on the cutting edge of knowing everything that we're doing. You will get all the roadmap information. You'll get updates almost daily because our team is working really, really hard. Have a look at some of the roadmap ideas that we have and how we're gonna roll it out in the countries that we'd like to go through first, but there's no reason why we can't go everywhere. Now, I come from a landlord country and I got tired of getting recipes with salmon in there. 